I believe substance abuse is when taking a drug interferes with your personal life, like the ability to like work, like or to care for your family or yourself even. Abuse is essentially when it starts ruining your life. I would say probably 95% of my friends are recreational. There's a few that can't really handle it and it crosses the line a little bit, but I would say most are recreational. I know a handful of people who definitely have a drinking problem because I met up with one of my friends at the bars the other night. Like she had asked me to come out, and the next morning, like I had go met up with her and we'd hung out for hours. So the next day she's like, "Did you end up coming out last night?" I don't remember anything because I was blacked out. But recreationally, it's obviously marijuana. Like if they skip work or they miss social events or if they don't have any money, like they can't pay bills because they're too busy spending all their money on drugs or th something like that. I'd say it's increased a little bit um, just because of how easy it is to get drugs nowadays. Um, you could pretty much ask out of five people, you ask five people, you three probably know where to get drugs. So it's it's just widely available. So that's how it's increased, but then I think it stays the same because people are still making the same decisions for themselves. Definitely go to talk, talk to somebody because it's a spiraling path that just keeps leading downward and it's kind of like a snowball effect. If it keeps going, the snowball's gonna get bigger and it's gonna roll faster. But if you go and talk to somebody, you can slowly stop that and work your way back up. Education, not just spitting out the facts at them, but also helping them to understand what it does in the long term and understanding what actually qualifies as abuse, I suppose. And then community could really help. Like, there's not that much to do around or in Wisconsin that's like late night or fun or 